Hey Pickle Peep, are you ready to learn one of the coolest things that Canva can do? Now I know we spent quite a bit of time on Canva earlier, but I'm going to show you a trick today that I just learned and mastered like earlier today and I was so excited about this trick that I just had, had to be able to show it to you now. So without further ado, we are going to go in and we are going to start playing with the Canva eraser tool. Now this is a pro tool. So if you have a one of Canva's free accounts, I'm sorry, but this uh, little trick is not going to work for you. You do need a pro account. Now Canva is not very expensive. Um, I know there's an annual and there is also a, um, a monthly. I pay monthly. I think I pay like $12.95 a month for Canva. And honestly, it's one of the best things that I pay for. Hashtag not an affiliate. <laughs> No ad, whatever the hell, the, whatever the phrases are, I am not yet. So yes, you do need a pro account for Canva to do this tip. And we are going to be covering something just so awesome. It's going to make your life so easy. You're going to be able to do really, really cool stuff. And that is the background eraser tool. So go ahead, smash that like button and I will see you on the computer. Okay, so we are back in our favorite design tool here, canva.com. If you want a kind of walkthrough of how to use Canva, then go ahead and check out my earlier video. It'll be linked in the description below. But let's go ahead. We are going to use the background eraser tool. And since I try to make things functional in here, you're going to watch me put together the thumbnail for this video. Woo! So, how do I do these things? I go straight into my designs here, make a copy, and that's the one that I want. Okay, so this technique right here, as soon as the page loads, you're gonna see when it's not blurred. This technique right here, you are gonna see how to do. So you're thinking, Melissa, that's not that cool or whatever, having this highlight around or not, but I'm telling you, it's cool, it's really cool. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this, and I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna delete that. Okay, and I am going to go over here into uploads. This is how I do all of my things. And upload media, here device, and let me get the newt. Here we go, open waiting. We're waiting, Canva. We're waiting. I'm going to take this one. All right, here is our fun photo for this. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. And I'm probably, let's see. I just did this a little bit ago, but let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger here because it's not a metal, a, uh, handmade how video without a funny picture, right? <laughs> so we're going to take that. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that because I want to have my original background. If I want to keep my background, I could put a fun background back there if I wanted to. Otherwise, I'm going to use this one. And now on this photo right here, I'm going to click on the photo and I'm going to go to effects. Now you can do this even with your product photos and we'll go over that in another one. And we're going to click on the background remover. Now this tool does take a minute. I'm not going to lie. It does take a minute to work, but that's okay because if you had to cut this stuff out in Photoshop and if you had to cut it out manually, cause you can't master the select tool like me, then it's much, much faster <laughs> than doing that. Okay. So now, you're like, Melissa, it doesn't look any different. But if I move it around, you can see, look, it's just me. Cool. And they did a damn good job here. Wow. Okay. So, oh, okay. That's neat. All right. Excellent. So there's something that I can do. Okay. So when this tool first came out, there were some issues in like if it erase something it wasn't supposed to, or if it didn't erase enough, you were kind of a little bit screwed. But they have adjusted that. So now you can see that next to me, it picked up the outline back here of my shield logo. That's for metals and pieces. But I want that gone. I don't want that as part of this. So they have two brush options right here. And as far as I know, these are the only brush options in Canva. I think they are working on other brushes, because if Canva 
starts including brush tools, they will surpass just about every other image editing software out there. So we're going to go with Erase. Ooh. Okay, and it turned it sideways on me, which is funky, but whatever. And we are just going to get rid of that. Let's see, I'm going to zoom in nice and close. Maybe even a little bit closer, because I want to get rid of all that. I mean, this is a YouTube thumbnail, so it doesn't need to be, like, super specific, but you get the idea. You can in increase your brush size, or you can, so its biggest is, like, 100, and then the smallest is, ooh, look at a little dot. Little dot. Like that. Okay. All right, so there we go. We can click to show the original image. Look at that, so you can see like what's messed up behind it, what you still want to get rid of. Like if I wanted to try to cut that a little bit closer and to get rid of it. And I love that that section. Oh, look, okay. It's missing, it lost a section of hair in there. So now instead of erase, I can click on restore. This is cool, I didn't see this before. And I can try to get that hair back in here if I want it. Let's see. Okay, that looks kind of awful, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to decrease my brush size. Pretty small. Let's try to get all that in. I'm going to go back with the erase and try to get rid of the edges. kind of blue behind me. So I cut rid of that. Ta-da! Oh, I could probably take that little bit out by my elbow, but I don't care as much. I'm going to go back to fit here. Look at that! So I have hair on this side. I got some hair on that side. We got some crazy hair going. Excellent! So now I can click done. And ta-da! There it is. So I could just literally drop this right back on top of myself and boom you would never know but this is where stuff now gets fun and cool so i'm going to take my copy that i made of myself and i'm going to duplicate it and make a copy of my copy <laughs> so ooh, not that one i want a copy of that one delete delete this one right here is what we want to duplicate okay there we go so, like, you, you, you could have a lot of fun <laughs> doing stuff like this. <laughs> but anyway, so I want to go, okay, so we have our regular one in the back. And then we have our new one that I'm going to offset, because we are going to work on our one from the back right here. And we're going to go back into the effects tab. And this is where stuff gets really cool. You're going to click on Duotone. And if it gives you something like connect, just click connect. It's no problem. It's not going to charge you stuff. Just you want Duotone. And you can choose any one. It doesn't matter because we're going to turn it all white anyway. So just go on the first one, whatever. And then you click it once and it does that color selection that it says. You click it a second time and you can now choose your colors. And we're just going to go for white. And for our next one, white. Cool. Okay. Because this is such funky hair, it uh, gave some weird halo effects. Okay, and then, oops, sorry. Ah! Did I lose it? I lost it. Okay. Hang on. Apply. Click apply before you click to something else. <laughs> so, now, I can take me that I made smaller 
and I can give that cool outline, which probably works better when you're not, you know, like in a crazy pose like I did here. <laughs> this probably works better for just like the head and shoulders outline technique. Um, but I don't really care for how this is looking. Oh, that's better. I actually like that one a lot better. So cool. And now what I do for these just to finish it up is I'm going to increase saturation a bit because that part whites me out. Smidge of contrast and no, we don't need any extra brightness. Okay. That fits that. And then I could take my last, my back one. And if I wanted to, like what I did on another one is I took, oh, it's doing the wrong one. Dang it. Hang on. That one, since I have three images here, and I can adjust the saturation all the way down that. I can make that black and white. Now I can move this image up. That is some truly epic hair, isn't it? And then I can move me up. Ta-da! And I can bring this one forward. Just take my text to the front. That's already to the front, to front, backward one. Okay. Uh, I'll take that one to the front, backward one, backward two, backward three. Okay, there we go. Now we're set right with the elbow behind the image. So you do have to play with this a little bit, but it's still just so great. So we're going to say awesome Canva background remover tool. Uh, ooh, I can type you using the awesome Canva background remover tool? Question mark. <laughs> and we're gonna have to make that a little bit smaller. Okay, it's out. There we go. Ta-da! There we go. We have a YouTube cover photos. I will download that. But that gives you the idea of how awesome that is. So that's using it on a person. That's really great. Well, what if we want to use it on a product? So let's go ahead. I'm just going to pull up an Instagram post here. And uploads. Let me find a recent L Quickie product photo that I want to use. Let's take this bangle option right here. Now, please note, you cannot do this to a background. So if I took my bangle and set it as the background, oh, maybe I can. No, before I couldn't. All right. So you can. Never mind. If it is a background, you can still use the background remover tool. And look at that. Look at what a spectacular job it did of that. Boom. So say I wanted to restore some of it. So now you can see anywhere that you see that check pattern, that gray and white check pattern, that means it's invisible. All right, if I click show original image, you can see that. And I didn't lose it. The only thing I lost in there was some shadows, which I don't care about losing at this point. So we have our image like this and we can say done. And I wonder then, I wonder, do they have a shadow tool? They have shadow for text. I wonder if they have shadow for this. Or if I just took this. Oh, since it's a background, I can't then duplicate it. That's what I can't do. Because I wonder if otherwise we could duplicate it. Let's, let's try this. This will be cool. I promise this will be cool. Okay. Let's do our image right here. Whatever. And let's run the effects. Let's do... Our background remover. Let's see if this works. 
Boom, we have that, great. Let's duplicate it, so now we have two. Our back one, we're gonna go back into effects, duotone, and instead of making it white, let's make it black. Boom, and boom, apply. And let's offset it like a shadow. Right like that. So that is cool and kind of a pop arty way. I could take my front image here and just adjust the brightness and contrast on that a little bit. Okay. I could, I could. That might be too much. And it depends on what I want to do. So that's kind of cool right there. Or if we want to take it a step further, we could go to our background shadow layer and we could change the transparency. So we could make that really, really light. Boom! How is that for an erased background? How fast are you going to do product photos now? Woo! That is great. So let's go ahead and take both of these layers. So to do that, I'm going to click on one and then I'm going to hold shift. Maybe I'll try to get the back one first and then shift onto the first one. So we have both of them highlighted. You can see the blue lines on both. I'm going to group those. And now I'm going to stretch this up so that it's like properly on here. You know, since I have part of the bracelet is off the screen. And boom, that is spectacular. Now, me personally, I can't wait until they have brushes for, you know, like saturation and stuff because I would like to take the saturation down on here. This is looking like some yellow light glare. Uh, I don't know where I took that photo, but that's what that looks like to me. You can see kind of a brassy tone on here when it's silver. That looks like a ceiling light to me. But <laughs> how freaking awesome. I love it. So there we go. You're welcome. Your product photo photography or product photo editing is now going to be a snap. You can see why I could not wait to show you this tool. Oh my God. As you guys are putting out your holiday collections and everything, you need this tool. It makes life so easy. Oh my God. So if you want to put it on there, I mean, if you want to do like, dear God, the, the, the things are limitless that you can do. So you can A, cut your products out nice and easy. You don't have to worry about it being super bright lighting to get that extra perfect white backdrop. You already have it. Canva is going to do it for you. As long as you have good crisp lines to your product, to your piece, whatever your photograph that you want to cut out is, you are in the clear. So cool. <laughs> All right. That one is done. I will see you guys in the next video. Or later. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know how excited you are to try this out. And let me know, like, if you are on a free Canva uh, membership, this might be the thing that gets you to go pro. There's lots of benefits to pro, but this might be the thing that gets you pro because you saw how easy that was. Now, yes, that, that bangle that I did was on a white background to begin with. I might have cut that out in Photoshop a while ago. I don't remember. Not the point. I could have taken a really crappy photo and put it in there. As long as you have clear lines for it to delineate or for you to be able to go back in and edit it to, you are in the gold. And then you can just add, did you love that? Duplicate the layer, make it black, lower your transparency, and boom, you have a drop shadow on your product. Wow! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Christmas shopping done now. All right. <laughs> Let me know how excited you are to use this tool in the comments below. Let me know if you have played with this tool before and if there is other fun stuff that you are wanting to learn in Canva or other things. Otherwise, I think uh, one of our next things, I have a book here. Let me see the book. Okay. Yeah. I think some of the next stuff that we are going to be working on, it has to do with email lists. So I'll see you later. Have a good one, Pickle Peep. Bye.